Recorded Books and RB Digital present Someone to Trust, a Westcott novel by Mary Ballog, narrated by Rosalind Landor. Chapter One There was nothing like a family Christmas to make a person feel warm about the heart. Oh, and a little wistful, too, and perhaps just a bit melancholy. Brambledean Court in Wiltshire was the scene of just such a gathering for the first time in many years. All the Westcots were gathered there. From Eugenia, the seventy-one-year-old Dowager Countess of Riverdale, on down to her newest great-grandson, Jacob Cunningham, the three-month-old child of the former Camille Westcott and her husband, Joel. They had all been invited by Alexander Westcott, the present Earl of Riverdale and head of the family, and Wren, his wife of six months. The house had been unlived in for more than twenty years before Alexander inherited the title, and had been shabby even back then. By the time he arrived, it had grown shabbier, and the park surrounding it had acquired a sad air of general neglect. It had been a formidable challenge for Alexander, who took his responsibilities seriously, but did not have the fortune with which to carry them out. That problem had been solved with his marriage, since Wren was vastly wealthy. The fortune she had brought to their union enabled them to repair the damage of years and restore the house and park on the one hand and the farms on the other to their former prosperity and glory. But Rome was not built in a day, as the Dowager Countess was not hesitant to remark after her arrival. There was still a great deal to be done, a very great deal. But at least the house now had a lived-in air. There were a few other guests, besides the Westcotts and their spouses and children. There were Mrs. Kingsley from Bath, and her son and daughter-in-law, the Reverend Michael and Mary 